So uh, sailing for me was very much kind of a part of the, the family for us. My dad was a, a sailor, um, skippered classic yachts all over, all over the world as a kind of a, in his t late teens and, and through his twenties. And um, and so when we, as a family, um, settled down on the Isle of Wight, it was something that kind of carried on through all the way through our childhood. So all of us would be out kind of sailing together as a family, and, and it kind of progressed from that into kind of more competition and, and kind of individual sailing and optimus and toppers and, and the whole thing really progressed from there as it has with a, a lot of other people who got into it at a very early age. Um, and really, um, you know, my advice to anyone wanting to, to get involved in the sport is to, is to get down to your local sailing clubs and, and get in contact through systems like the RYA, the Andrew Simpson Sailing Trust and the 1851 Trust here at Boundary over BAR and, and kind of use those foundations um, to get out there and, and get a taster for, for getting on the water. There are two probably aspects to, the, to our training for the World Series. Uh, we, we've got on the water training, which is you know practicing starts, communications, um, and real boat specific stuff. And then we've got the gym side, which is uh, so from our normal training, it's a bit more specific to the sailing, uh, more top handling stuff in the gym and, and conditioning and, and just trying to hone everything for, for the actual racing that we're going to get in the World Series. Well, I mean, that's pretty easy for us. We've got this huge base in Portsmouth and there's nowhere else we'd go. I mean, I guess if I was to, to do it personally, I'd take it down the coast to Lymington, which is my hometown. Um, we'd struggle a little bit for, um, for, for water there, it's a little river, so, um, but yeah, right here in Portsmouth we'll do just fine. I think naturally being our home event, everyone wants to win a lot more it, than all the other regattas. Um, there's a lot of hype around it and the pressure's on for us, um, and obviously we'd like nothing more than to win on home soil. Um, but we've also got to keep the big picture in mind and, and it is an overall series and, and as much as regatta wins are important, just being consistent and keep putting in the good results is also important. Um, so we've moved up the leaderboard last event and we're looking to do the same again and, and the final standings at the end of it is ultimately the most important bit. The Portsmouth event here uh, on the America's Cup World Series is, is really important to the whole team. Um, Obviously, we really want to win. We're putting everything in to going out there and, and winning and on, our, on this home stretch. The support's going to be amazing. And uh, yeah, it would just be an incredible feeling to kind of um, to mirror the, the victory from last year and, and do that again on, on home turf. Bringing in Jabby and Bledin, I mean, a good two examples. They're very different guys. You've got the wise old head of Jabby. He's, um, he's a Rolex Sailor of the Year. He's an Olympic gold medalist, a Volvo Sailor. He's got, uh, as well as the America's Cup, and he's got this broad spectrum of, of uh, experience that he brings to the team. Um, and really, really valuable. You know, when he talks, you listen to what he's got to say because he's got wise things to say. Uh, and then we've got a guy like Bledin who's come in straight out of university doing his uh, degree in aerodynamics. Um, extremely intelligent, great sailor, a youthful enthusiasm that he brings to the team. Um, and fitness-wise, he's you know he's come in and already he's one of the fittest guys in the team. And you know that's when you can do when you're a little bit younger. I, I'm struggling to keep up with these guys, I know. Um, but yeah, the, to bring in guys at the, both ends of the spectrum there really really helps the team. We've got the guys that the experience and the guys that are also the future of what British yacht racing is all about. And Bledin certainly that. I think it's an interesting question in terms of um, pros and cons. I mean, initially we have decided to reduce the weight of our afterguard, such as our wing trimmer and our helmsman, um, and that allows us to give those precious kilos in a weight-restricted sport to our big, powerful grinders. Um, and the bigger and more powerful they can be, um, the, the more power they can deliver to the boat, um, which is essential to what we're trying to achieve. I don't see any cons to what we're trying to achieve by reducing the weight of our afterguard, as long as they're healthy 
and they're fit and they're available to be picked, then they don't need to be big and strong. So in terms of the pros, every kilo they can give to our grinders is a benefit for our power output. It maximizes our ability to produce power. The kit's really important. Um, I mean, every, every little aspect of, of what we're doing here is important. And the kit's definitely one of those incremental steps. It's the whole picture. Whoever puts together the most uh, incremental steps towards winning is the one that's going to win. And the kit's part of that. Um, it has to be functional. Um, it has to be aerodynamic. We're going, you know, 40 knots now. I mean, in the past in the America's Cup, you know, back in my early days, I've been around for a little while now, um, we were doing, you know, top speeds of 15 knots. And now we're doing 45 knots, three times the speed. Um, so the aerodynamics has suddenly become very important. So we've taken the kit to a wind tunnel. We've had a good look at that. And we've we got some really good uh, facts, data out of that wind tunnel testing. And um, Henry Lloyd have been working hard with us, as have Spinlock, to, to make sure our kit's uh, good and aerodynamic, as well as functional, warm. You know, we're been here through the winter, we're going to Bermuda where it's going to be hot and sunny. So, you know, it's uh, really important. Well, Henry Lloyd, Spinlock and Cask and um, Nick Hutton within the company have, um, you know, they've done an amazing job to not only make the kit comfortable and usable, but also, um, you know, as lightweight and as aerodynamically efficient as possible. The boys have been up in the wind tunnel testing it and obviously we've been testing it on the water and we've had a load of different iterations and you know I think where we've got to with all the kit is um, you know a really big step forward from the kind of off the shelf stuff that we had before the cup started. Well it's changed hugely in my lifetime I mean it's, it's a revolution really what's happened now in the America's Cup um, hydrofoiling wing sail catamarans. I mean, who saw that coming? I certainly didn't. Um, it's still unbelievable. Now we're, we're flying around out there, out the water, and uh, yeah, that's obviously the, the biggest change. Um, and it, you know, it's very exciting. And for me personally, it's something I've really enjoyed. It's, it's certainly a departure from what was the norm in the America's Cup. And I think it, you know, it hasn't always been universally accepted. Um, or it's certainly taken a, a while for some people to come around to what this new cup's all about. Um, personally, having been involved in both, I'm really excited about the way the America's Cup is going and uh, you know, the, the direction of it for the future, I think, is really healthy. Yeah, I think um, it's definitely becoming more accessible to, uh, to kind of different people from different backgrounds. Um, and hopefully the, the excitement and enthusiasm that we're, we, we bring to the nation um, with the America's Cup um, can help that as well. And I mean, if we bring the Cup, cup home next year, I mean, I can't imagine how kind of excited everybody will be in the UK. Um, and hopefully that will get a lot more people involved in, in sport. Well, this is our biggest fight always, try to, to make it more and more popular. And, and I think uh, sailing is going, you know, in the good way. Um, no, big steps last last times I think uh, we've got the uh, good events like uh, of course the America's Cup the last one in, in San Francisco uh, was huge and I think the next one's coming uh, should be in the same way boats are just spectacular and, and I think the the whole world of the sports is, is changing to, to this and, and sailing finally we are you know proposing to people to watch and, and, and be exciting and, and be very very nice so I don't know cycling is a very big sport and I don't know if we will get there in five years, but uh, hopefully, hopefully we're going the right way. Mm -hmm.